Unless you were raised by rich parents, everything you were taught about money is wrong. And in this video, I'll be explaining why. What's up everybody, I am Just Parade Singh from the MinorityMindset.com where money minds rethink rich. If you're like most people, you grew up and told that if you want to become successful, you got to go to school, get a good degree, get a good job, work really hard at your job, save some money in your 401k, and then you will be able to retire wealthy or at least hopefully financially free or at least be able to retire. I always wanted to be financially successful. My parents are immigrants from a state in India called Punjab and I saw how hard they worked and so I wanted to be financially successful that way I could give back to my parents and I could take care of my family because I saw the hardships and the struggles that they went through. But I started to look at things differently than what everyone said that you should do when one day I was in college and I was sitting in the library and I was like, you know, let me just take a look at the Forbes richest person list. And over there, you know, you have people like Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and I'm looking at these people and what they do. And what's interesting is none of these people follow that traditional path that everybody tells you to follow to become wealthy or to become successful. Now, I know not everybody can be the next Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk or Bill Gates and build a multi-billion dollar business. I'm not saying that's what you should do. But there are many ways for you to become wealthy and retire a millionaire that many of us never learn. Actually, a lot of the financial advice that we get from the people around us is the reason why so many people are broke. Now, when it comes to really understanding money, there are three main points that I need you to understand that most of us have been completely lied to about money. And these are the three things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I do that, I need you to do me a quick favor and smash the thumbs up button below. The first thing that all of us are talking out about money is that money must, must be earned through labor. And this is one of the biggest lies out there when it comes to money. And this is a big reason why a lot of people will never become wealthy. Growing up, this was the only thing that I saw. My parents were immigrants, like I said. And so when you come to a new country with not that much money, where you don't speak the language, where you don't know the culture, you have to hustle to make it work. And so my dad had this thing where he would say, there's no such thing as sick days, because if you take a sick day, that means you're not going to work. If you're not going to work, you're not getting paid. If you're not getting paid, you don't have money to eat. Now, I was very fortunate. I was never poor. I never had to worry about where my next meal was going to come from. But I really understood the value of working hard because in my mind, the more you worked, the more money you would make. And it was to the point where if my parents had a Saturday and a Sunday off, a whole weekend off, this was considered a long vacation. But this method of earning money is how we're all taught to earn money. Here's how it works. Here's you right here. Got to draw you, you know, a nice mustache or for our female audience draw you a nice braid or as we say in my native language a gut so here's you and here is your job and so what do you do you go to your job and every time you go to your job your job pays you a paycheck now if you want to earn more money in the system what do you do well you go and get a good degree or you go and get a certificate, you get a master's, you become a doctor, you become an attorney, you become an engineer. So you get a better job to get a higher paycheck. But at the end of the day, it's still labor. Sure, maybe it's not physical labor, but you're still working. You go to a job every single day to get this paycheck. If you have a better job, you make more money. But this is where kind of one of the disconnects are about money, because yes, you can make money here, but this is not the only way to make money because this is one of the biggest misconceptions that I had because I always assumed that if you wanted to make money, you had to go to a job, you had to do a task, you had to do some work in order to get paid. But it doesn't work like that. Wealthy people and rich people do not make money in the system. Sure, maybe that's how they started off or maybe this is how they attract some money, but that's not the only way they make money. What every single wealthy person does is they understand that they do not want to earn all their money through their labor because there's a limit to how much you can work. There's a limit to how many days you can work. There's a limit to how many hours you can work. And so what they do is they take this money right here. We'll call this your EI, your earned income. This is money that you have to go work to earn. And now they're going to make this money and they're going to put some of this money aside right here. And they're going to take this money and they're going to put it to work somewhere else for their PI, passive income income because there's a difference between your earned income where you have to go to a job or where you have to go to your business where you have to do something to earn money and your passive income where your money goes out and makes you money. This EI, this earned income right here is not going to make you rich. I don't care what job you have. I don't care if you're a doctor. You are never going to become rich 
just with your salary right here. What you need to do if you want to become wealthy, this is whether you're making $25,000 a year or two and a half million dollars a year, is you got to take some of this money aside and you got to start putting it towards your passive income. This is what wealthy people do. Wealthy people take as much of this money here and they put it here because they understand that this is not going to make you rich because it doesn't matter how much money you make. As soon as you stop working, the money stops coming in. And so if you look at really what becoming wealthy is, wealthy is how much freedom you have. Here, it doesn't matter if you're running a business or if you have a job. It doesn't matter because now if you stop working, you stop getting paid. Now, this is assuming that you don't have a big business where you don't have to work in there to get paid. But if you have a small business or if you're working a job, you have to work to get paid. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta take this money, put it here, that way now you're getting paid even if you don't go to work, even if you don't do a specific task, and this is where real wealth is built. When I realized this concept, that was when I changed my life completely, at least financially, because I stopped working just for this. Before, anytime I made money, I'd want a nicer car, I'd wanna upgrade my car, I'd want a new watch, I'd buy all these nice things. But when I realized that my money could fund my lifestyle, not just by making money and spending it, but by making money and using it the right way, by buying investments, assets, real estate, stocks, things that pay you, then I started changing what I did with my money. Instead of buying cars and watches, I started buying real estate. And these were things that started paying me with cash flow. And so what I understood was if I made enough money here from my passive income, then I could fund my entire life without making any money here. So it was a big shift in my mind, and this is where a lot of us are never taught that you can make money outside of just your job. In most of our minds, we think, okay, if we wanna make money, what do we do? Well, we can get a job, we can start a business. But both of these are gonna require a lot of work on your part, and if you don't work, you don't get paid. But you have to get paid even if you don't work, if you wanna become wealthy. The way you do that, you get paid, whether it's from your job, your business, whatever, you get paid, you have to put money here. Now, I'm not gonna be getting into investing and how you do that in this video because I got other things I wanna talk about, but if you do wanna learn more about how you can start investing in real estate for cash flow, I already made a video where I explained all that and I'll link that video for you in the description below. This system is why you have some doctors that are broke and you have some people making $30,000 a year that retire wealthy because when you live off of this, you will never be able to build wealth. But when you work to grow this so you can live off of this, you will become wealthy. And so what you wanna do is stop living off of this and start living off of this. The second wrong thing that we're all told about money is that money is evil or some sort of variation of this. Like in my house, money wasn't something that we really talked about because in my culture, you don't really talk about money in that way. Like it's just kind of something that you just kind of assume is gonna be okay. You don't talk about money. So at the same time, you know, when I was growing up, my parents always told me that if I wanted to become successful, I should become a doctor. But we never talked about money management or investing or saving because these things were kind of just bad and distractions. So we never talked about money. And anytime I did, I was always told, don't worry about money, it will be okay once you are a doctor. But here's the thing. In my culture, I'm gonna keep it just completely real with you. In my culture, we don't talk about money, but at the same time, we have so many people drowning in debt. We have so many people that do not understand how to spend their money. We have so many people blowing their money on nice cars, but now do not have any money for their investments. We have so many people blowing their money on the wrong things and do not have a way to afford a decent lifestyle or afford a good education for their kids. And so we have all these kind of like confusions in the way that people use their money and it all comes down to this because we are scared to talk about money. But the reality is we have to start talking about money that way we can start being good with our money, that way we can start building wealth for ourselves instead of making everybody else around us rich. And the unfortunate thing is the media does not help with this. The media, especially nowadays, we really start to see this kind of like divide between the rich and the poor. And anytime you hear people talk about someone rich or a corporation or whatever on the news, it's always portrayed as this evil person, right? Because because rich people are evil in the media. But the thing that you have to understand is money at the end of the day does not make you a good person. Money does not make you a bad person. Money is just a tool, okay? It does not make you bad, it does not make you good. It is a tool that you can use to take better care of your family. It's a tool that you can use to take better care of your parents. It's a tool that you can use to take better care of your spouse. It's a tool that you can use to take better care of your community. We live in this culture right now where people hate rich people. 
Why? Because they're rich. And this is where we have to kind of start breaking out of this mold and take a step back and say, why are we thinking like that? Why do we think this person is rich? Because they have become successful. Maybe instead of us hating on success and this richness or whatever you want to call it, how about we figure out how this person became successful so we can do it too? Because being broke has never helped anyone, period. Okay, you can help more people if you have money. Money is just fuel. It amplifies what you do. If you want to feed hungry people, having a million dollars can help you feed more hungry people. If you want to do more community service, sure, you as a person can do that. But if you have a million dollars with you, you can do a whole lot more community service. Okay, so money is just fuel. It doesn't make you a good person. It doesn't make you a bad person. It amplifies who you are. It allows you to do more of whatever it is you want to do. I realize I never changed this one to a two. So let me do that right now. Look, at the end of the day, money is just one part of your life. And yes, there are things that are way more important than money. Like, you got to be physically healthy. If you're on your deathbed, it doesn't matter how much money you make. Because if you're about to die or if you're so obese where you can't live your life, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You got to be mentally healthy. If you're depressed or you have all this anxiety so you cannot even live your life, it doesn't matter how much money you have if you cannot live happily. You have to have spiritual health. That doesn't mean you have to be religious. When I say spiritual health, I mean you got to have a purpose in your life. You got to have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. If you don't have a reason to get out of bed, you can have $10 million in the bank, but it doesn't mean anything because you don't have a purpose to your life. Once you have the physical fitness, the mental fitness, and the spiritual fitness, now is when being financially healthy is the most beneficial. But this is where everyone gets things screwed up because everyone says money doesn't buy happiness, so don't worry about money. Yeah, money is not going to buy you happiness, but being broke is not going to make you happy either. Money can help buy you the things that you want to do. That way you can do things that make you happy and money can buy you freedom, but you got to understand where money plays a part in your life. And when you just put up the smoke screen by saying things like money's evil, so you don't got to talk about it. Now you're just ignoring the issue and you're living in fairy tale la la land. And this brings me to number three. And for the purposes of this one, I'm going to call this our dollars money. The third thing you got to understand, which is one of the biggest lies that we're told is that this money is real money. When I was growing up, I had never heard of the word investing. No one in my family was a real estate investor. No one in my family knew a real estate investor. And so for us, in our household, money management and being financially smart was working hard at your job, working as hard as possible, and then saving as much money as possible. And so you work hard, save as much money, and what do you do with the savings? You let those savings sit in the bank. You know, I've joked around about this before because there's a lot of difference between the traditional Indian culture and American culture because in the Indian culture, people make a dollar to spend 20 cents. In the American culture, people make a dollar to spend two dollars with the help of credit cards and loans and lines of credit. And so in that kind of traditional Indian culture, we have this kind of like saving bread into our blood. And so my parents were the same. They worked very, very hard and then they saved as much money as possible thinking that it was the financially smart thing to do. Now, it is better to save your money than to blow it at Gucci and Louis Vuitton and buy a whole bunch of nice things. But there's so much more to what you can do with your money. And the only way you're going to do that is if you understand what money actually is. These dollars right here are just pieces of paper and it only costs 12 cents to print a hundred dollar bill. I don't have a hundred dollar bill on me, so I'm going to show you a 50, but it costs 12 cents to print a hundred dollar bill. And so this piece of paper now can be printed as much as the government and the Federal Reserve wants. And as more money gets printed and enters our circulation, the value of each dollar that you save and the value of each dollar that you earn now gets diluted. So if you were making $3,000 a month and more money gets printed, that $3,000 a month in a few years is not going to have the same buying power that $3,000 a month does today because $3,000 a month in a few years is going to be more diluted because of all the dollars now in circulation than $3,000 a month does today. And so what happens? The price of your rent goes up. The price of your groceries go up. If you want to go on a vacation, your vacation costs go up. Gas prices go up. And so the prices of everything around you keep going up while the wages don't necessarily keep up with now the higher cost of living and the higher standard of living. The average person's financial advice is work hard, make money, and save whatever you can. And this is the reason why most people will never become wealthy. A wealthy person would never follow that financial advice. A wealthy person is going to work hard 
take whatever money they can and invest it and only save what they need. A wealthy person is only going to save money for three reasons. They're going to save money for an emergency. And so now you got to have an emergency fund. This might be three months worth of expenses up to a year's worth of expenses, depending on how conservative you want to be. A wealthy person will save for big purchases. This might be a home. This might be a car and a wealthy person will save to invest their money. If saving your money does not fall into one of these three categories, you got to do something with that money. This goes back to what I was talking about earlier, where financially educated people will take their money, their earned income, and they're going to convert it to passive income. Well, it comes back to this right here too, because when you make money and you leave it in your bank account, your money stays flat. It's dead. But at the same time, the price of everything else keeps getting more and more expensive. So your money in your bank account is dead, but everything else keeps getting more expensive. So you are effectively becoming poorer and poorer day by day. That's why what wealthy people do is they take this money and they convert it to something else. They convert it to assets. This might be stocks. This might be real estate. Things that now make them more money. When you own shares of a stock, now you own a piece of a company. And this company is working hard to make more money. And as the company makes more money, so do you because your stock price goes up or you get dividends. When you own real estate, you own a physical property. Or if we're talking about crowdfunded real estate or something like that, now you own exposure to real estate. But when you own real estate, you own a real piece of property. You own brick, you own land, you own windows. And now if a tenant is living there, they're going to be paying you rent every single month. So you have a stream of cash flow and you have a physical building. And so now you have real assets that are worth something because you own shares of a company or you own shares of a building. When you own money, just cash, just pieces of paper, you own pieces of paper that are losing value every single day. That's why you got to understand why you're saving money. After you get past that, you got to convert your cash to something real. I get it. Some of the stuff is going to seem really weird and really out there, especially if you haven't been exposed to financial education before. But this is the reality of what's going on. If you are not happy with where you are financially, if you are struggling paying your bills, if you are struggling paying down your debt, if you do not know how you can be financially free, it is possible, but it starts with financial education. And it's tough because none of us are taught about money or financial education when we're in school. This is where you're going to have to be the one to go out of your way to learn this financial education and then actually put it to action. But lucky for you, it is easier now than ever because there's so much information that you can access for free, literally on your fingertips. And if you're looking for a place you can learn, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel because we talk about this every single week. If you enjoyed this video, here's a video on investing money that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, download our free money management PDF. And as always, keep hustling. And now my mind started thinking, if I could just amplify this, now I can have my passive investments pay for my life. And now I'm financially free because I don't have to go to work to earn a paycheck because my investments are paying for my lifestyle.